Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to a night, another night of Hiller Volleyball. I'm Steve Sweetapple, along with Mike Tarosian, as the Hopkinton Hillers welcome the Ashland Clockers into the field house here on a rainy Thursday night. Hopkinton coming in off of a 3-1 to loss to Ashland at Ashland on Tuesday night. It'll be interesting to see how the girls bounce back here, Mike. Yeah, I, I was only able to catch the first set uh, of the game. It, not, not all the way through. They, they looked really well, but I was very surprised when I got the coach's text at the end of the game. So, but it was, you know, close game all yep. around. Yep, all, all four sets, um, <clears throat> very close. It was 25-23, yep. 18-25, 25-22, and 25-22. Which is uh, the kind of games you want, you know, yeah. nice and close. Yep. So out there on the floor for the Hillers, we have... Cassie, Millie, and Kate up front with Sam, Rachel, and who am I missing? Oh, Hannah uh, in the back. Yeah. And Ashlyn's going <clears> to <throat> get this best of five underway. Taylor Simpson serving. Rachel, uh, it's going to be tough. Clockers take the opening point. Millie to Rachel, outside, and Cassie sends that one long. Really long. Sam handles that. Good set. Rachel. Boom. Great swing from Kate. A lot of power on the power shot. Side out. Hillers. Layton checks in. She'll go back to serve. Mirabella checking in as well. Nice deep serve from Layton. And that was off the fingertips. Nice kill from Marcy. Side out, Ashlyn. It's so weird to be in this gym without the bleachers pulled out and to see parents sitting in desks. It's very, very strange. And, I yeah. wonder, wonder if any of them are having Should've... flashbacks. Well, you know, it's, it's funny, too. Um, I love how they, uh, when you're looking down at me, you see their phones and you can <laughs> see them watching the feed. Because, <laughs> you know, we do have the better angle. And, you know, watching from uh, watching from the floor is not the best way, especially sitting at a desk. That uh, yeah, you know, yep. So I think the uh, I think they do miss the height. So they so sometimes they're watching. Klepper serving. Oh. Great save from Hannah. Oh, Hannah hits the floor again. Great net play there from the Clockers. Marcy with a good kill. Ashland opening up a four-point lead here early in the first set. Klepper with another good serve, and Hannah couldn't handle that one. Well, spin on that ball. Yeah, she didn't move her feet to get in front yeah. of it. Just stuck her arms out. Sam handles that, gets it to Catherine. Kate, and that's out. Feel time out looming here. Yep, and there's Coach Grabmeyer. And there it is. It's almost like I get ESPN. Yep, almost. <laughs> and so they'll do their semicircle, yeah, social I mean, distance. It's like a very huddle. big huddle. Uh, can you even call it a huddle? No, there's no huddle. So, yeah. Um, they got an oval going, I think. Yeah. 
A horseshoe. <laughs> oh. I think uh, Coach Grandma learned her lesson and now has her back to us. <laughs> so we can't tell what she said because we were trying to predict it last time. And she knows I'm terrible at reading lips, but I, I can't get close enough and look. But you can read the girls' lips because they all have masks on. So. And uh, I did talk to Coach Grabmeyer before the game, and she said that the Dig Pink event is still going to be done virtually. Yep. They will have their usual uh, gift baskets as well as selling pink balloons as part of the fundraiser. So. Right, and as soon as they, they get their page live on the Sign Up Foundation website, uh, you'll be able to find that on hcam.tv. And that'll be done in uh, during the Westwood game. Kate? Yeah, just long. Oh, no. Nice. The line. Yeah, that looked like it was in there. I thought it was out. I also, too, like how they were including the other towns and not just stick it. Like in the beginning, it started with Mill uh, Medf Millis. Millis. Yeah. And then now they just change it up with the towns. And, of course, as we know, the schedule is nowhere near the same as it usually is. Yeah. And because um, normally there would be 10 home, 10 away games, and you play it with twice kind of thing. And, and you kind of sort of. You, you kind of sort of uh, we had the same people all the time in October. Right. But now here we are in uh, in the spring, or as we like to say, the MIAA fall too. Fall too. <laughs> Hillary's down by five. Kate back to serve. Girls need a little run here. Yes, they do. Out. Good eyes. Well, that's going to be trouble. Oh, well, you asked for it, you're getting it. Still need a few more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, keep it going. Oh, that dropped in. Sarah Friedman with the put away. Sam checks back in. CC LeBay back to serve. Good serve, handled well by Furlong. That's long. Side out, Hillers. Rutt checking back in. She'll go back to serve. And Cassie checking back in as well. Good serve from Rachel. Yeah. Nice block from Michaela. That was a good, strong block. Very strong. Nice. Uh, hit the antenna. That was, that was yep. going to stay in. Uh -oh. There was a call of out, but that was staying in. Uh-oh. Yeah. Side out, clockers. Kendall Z to serve. Oh. 
Nice try from Rachel. Sarah just put that bump too low. Good eyes. There you go. Mel made a step for it and then stopped. Uh, I think I heard two people yell around, so <laughs> that always helps. Millie checking back in. And nice serve. Hillers within one. Oh, good serve. Tied up at 11. I thought that was a double hit from the libero. Looked like it hit her hand and then hit her chest. Yeah. And went forward, but. Another good serve from Mel. Michaela with a nice block. Rachel. Oh. Oh, Sam, oh. nice play. Oh. Oh. Good activity at the net from the Hillers. Hannah checking back in. Friedman back to serve for the Clockers. Sam settles under that one nicely. Rachel. Outside, and Millie couldn't do anything with that. So that was too close to the net. Oh, man. a little light. Wee bit of a service error there. It's always a little embarrassing when it doesn't even make it well, to the net. Yeah, I know. It, it, when, you, when you have a, at the Vasi level, you have these good servers that try to do that just to try to have it tip the top of the net and just fall over. Sam with a good serve, keeps it deep. Oh, good get from Sam. Bumped over, Berenson, Lorette, back set to Millie. Block, Millie hits the floor, keeps it in play. Cassie just puts it deep. Oh. Nice save. Oh. oh. Great hustle from both teams. Yeah. yeah. 14 to 12. Ashland in front here in the first set. Another service error from the Clockers. We'll take it. Catherine checking in, as well as Mirabella. Good knuckleball. Outside, tipped at the net. Sam gets to it, but still key, it's a little too far wide. Yep. Side out, Ashland. Klepper checking in. She'll go back to serve. <laughs> Sam gets to that. Catherine outside. Mirabella tipped at the net. Kept alive by the clockers. Side out Hillers. Nice. Now's the time. Now's the time for your drive right here. Mel checking in. Well as Sarah and Furlong back to serve. Hillers down one. Good deep serve from Furlong. Tied up. Excellent. Bella, Catherine to Kate in the front. 
That's it. Feed Kate again. Ah. Came in too low. Too low. Yep. Set out clockers. Yadav back to serve. <clears throat> Sarah outside. Mel just puts it down the line. Sarah, nice dig. Catherine outside. Mel goes cross court. A little confusion, but the clockers work it out. Good swing from Mirabella. Oh, wow. Well-earned point from the clockers. Absolutely. Usually if Kate goes up at the net and against somebody, I'm going to put my money on Kate. Side out. Powers back to serve. And Michaela's checked in. Michaela tips that. Kate gets to it. Pellucci. Oh, Yedev just keeps that alive. Catherine. Oh, I thought it was tipped. Guess not. Yeah, from looking at the stats from uh, Tuesday night's game, too, the girls were not hitting well. Their hitting percentage was very, very low. Nice save. Mel just rolls that one down the line. Good free ball here. And good. Nice. Side out. Mirabella and Catherine will depart. Rachel and Cassie checking in. The rep back to serve. <clears throat> Another great serve. Oh. Oh. There's a quick tip over it. Got us a little flat footed there. Kendall Z back to serve. Clockers up by two. Lorette outside. Cassie long again. I'd like to see Cassie explode into that ball. Sarah, Rachel, Michaela, there we go, side out. Millie checking back in. Mel back to serve. Oh, great nice. swing from Millie. Wow. That was a great swing. She had to run backward to run forward yeah. to hit that. That was great. Down the line. Tied up at 20. Let's see if Mel keeps it going. Rotation violation. Wow. Glad somebody can figure that out. I can never figure out yep. the rotation. Yep. <laughs> I, when I was watching the JV game, <coughs> they played three in front, three in the back, and they lined up straight across from each other. So when they turned, they all moved to the circle. That I could figure out. <laughs> but the, these girls, did I get no clue. Mm. 
Net. Net violation. There you go. Wow. And Coach Warren is. Yeah, he's besides himself right now. Little discussion on it. I think, I think we're going to get a thumbs up here. Play over. Do over. He lose by two. Good, nice serve. Yeah. Nice. Mel drops it in. That was in by a lot, too. That was a whole bunch. <laughs> I think the girls are over there looking at who yelled out. <laughs> Coach Warren calls a timeout. Which makes sense. Yeah, that was that was hit by a whole bunch, and uh, you hear the Ashland players yelling "no." <laughs> oh, and, oops! Yeah, <laughs> big oops. That's that's like uh, when the shot clock's going down, and they'll count. You know, with eight seconds left, they'll start at four or three just to throw everyone off. That's how badly it, they got thrown off there. Oh, now we get a semicircle. Actually, it's a little louder in here tonight. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, we do have uh, more of a full house. Yeah. All, almost all the desks are occupied. Yeah. All the desks. <laughs> Mel serving. Another good serve. Yadav handles that. They go outside. And that's long. Oh, it was tipped. Oh. Michaela must have gotten oh. a piece of it. Side out, clockers. Coach got my asking for clarification. Friedman to serve. Nice cross court swing. Double there. There you go. Set it up. <laughs> oh, Michaela, what a great wow. play. Great play. Kate checks back in. Sam back to serve. Hiller's two points away from closing out this first set. See if Sam can bring it home. That's long. There's a little frustration building up over there on the uh, clocker side. Yeah. Set point. Sam, good serve. Bump set outside, and they let it go. That was out. Now, there we go. Official call. I don't know why. Oh, because the, uh, the ref got bumped. Knocked his ladder around. So <laughs> Hillers take the first set 25 21. I haven't seen a ref uh, go off the one of those yet. I'm sure it's happened. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll have to, I'll have to uh, check it out on YouTube later. <laughs> I'm sure it has. I'm sure yeah. this players have gone flying into it. Absolutely. And earlier tonight, the JV1 team defeated Ashland 2-0. And that was the only other game. Yeah, because they, they don't have the Ashland freshman. don't have a freshman team. Which uh, I'm surprised Ashland still remains as competitive as they do without having freshman teams all these yeah. years. You know, it's, um, I mean, we're blessed here and, and you know, we're feeding them right at the eighth grade level all the way up. Um, I wonder, I'm going to ask Coach Carver, I, I probably will later, is ask you if they still get to do a big sister, little sister 
They uh, probably can't. I, I mean, bet they I'm can. just wondering if yeah. they do it virtually still, there's some yeah. mentoring or whatever, you know, help each other out in school or whatever. I, I don't know. I want to see how that's going because I, when my kids played, I thought that was one of the most fantastic things ever. Yeah, that and the circle that they do yeah. during every practice. Yes. They could probably still do it, but it's going to be a huge circle. So Pretty much. So, yeah, it was a nice, uh, very nice comeback there by the ladies with the um, never give it up. Yep. Yeah, they just, you know, slowly crept, crept their way forward. I mean, tough start being down 7-1 to one <laughs> yeah. right off the bat. I think we can call it a gritty performance in the first set. Sure. In the Tri-Valley League, Ashland and Medfield are tied for first, each sitting here at 3-0. and Hiller's at 2-1. and An abbreviated season. The girls will play <clears throat> 11 games. Two home and away series against Ashland, Medfield, Holliston, Norton, and Westwood. And then one final game against the Clockers at Ashland. Yep. So we get up there starting for us. Uh, the we so we've got out there Michaela, Hannah, Mirabella, Kate, Catherine, and Millie. And Sam will be checking in shortly for Michaela. And uh, referee's just getting him to move the, oh, the camera, camera out of the way. Yeah. I was very surprised that he let it stay there. Very, very surprised because usually it's always off of the corner. Coach Grabby always had to put it over the corner there, and that's what they're doing now. So I was very surprised to see it back there. I remember when we used to be back there. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then we decided to go off to the corners, and now, it, now we go in between the bleachers. And thank you, COVID, for just letting it be a single camera operation. <laughs> All right, we're ready to get the second set underway. Catherine should be serving. Nice serve from Catherine, handled well by the clockers. Millie, Catherine, back to Millie, and the set was low. Dipped, Sam, great arm bar. Back set, Millie, good swing. Oh, a little miscommunication oh. there. That was, uh, I don't know if that was more of a campfire or a husband or wife. I, 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 I didn't I, see any communication. There I was, just saw him looking yeah, at it. There was, there was, there. I'm going with campfire that one. I'm going with <laughs> husband and wife. Nice knuckleball from Catherine. And that's out. <laughs> Millie, Catherine, back to Millie. Good swing. Over the block, very nice. Great approach from Millie. And there you go. 
Coach Warren doing a little pacing on the sideline. Schiller checking in for the clockers. Hannah, Catherine, Millie reaches back. Yeah, oh, just long. Side out, clockers. There's an ace. Great save. Oh. Oh, right idea. Yeah. Great hustle from Millie. Clockers within two. LeBay, good serve. Sam handles that one well. Gives it to Catherine. Pushes it outside to Millie. Net violation on the Clockers. Side out, Hopkinton. Very nice. Sarah is going to check in. Millie will depart. Mel checking in. Hannah will depart. For along with the serve. And oh. another uh, husband and wife yep. there. Gets credit for an ace, though. Not a pretty ace, but an ace never was. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Just shows up as an ace. <laughs> serve Simpson with a good swing tipped at the net outside to Millie cool. yeah, Sarah had a nice arm bar as yeah. she hit the floor but still pushed it wide side out clockers Z back to serve Oh, nice swing from Mel. Back set, cross court. Mirabella, Sam, Sarah pushes it over. Great block. Oh, good Jeez. dig from the clockers. Oh, Kate with another oh. block. No, didn't even go over the net. I thought, I thought it hit the top of the net and hit Kate's hands, but both refs said no. Side out Hillers. We'll take it. Yep. Powers back to serve. Ooh, nice floater. Sarah, Kate, Mel just gets it over. Let's see if Ashlyn can set this up. Back set, cross court, Kate, good bump. Catherine to Mel. Nice. Kate. Catherine goes outside. Mel. Good, good swing from Mel. That was a great play from Mel. The set was low and she was already approaching and she just held off enough. Good deep serve from Kate. Free ball. Powers. Layton. Michaela in the middle. Great dig from the libero. Mirabella hits the floor. Mel down the middle. Ashland doing a good job keeping this in play. Michaela couldn't handle that. Good wall was set up, but just went off the outside of her arm. Berenson checking in. Yadav back to serve. Hiller's up by four here early in the second set. Hopkinton took the first set, 25 to 21. Nice handle from Sam. Michaela tipped.
Clockers keep it alive. Oh, once again. Yeah, same place. Same place. Michaela's there. Ball's just hitting off the outside of her left arm. Ashland's not going down the lines when they're at the net. Everything they're putting cross court. Catherine, Mel, just rolls that one deep. Good approach, arm bar from Mel. And deflected by Michaela. Good little run here from the Clockers. Sure is. Hillers need a side out. Sarah, Catherine, back set. Mirabella, wasn't a lot she could do with that. She made the best of it. Michaela goes up, furlong. Catherine outside, Mel, blocked. Mirabella keeps it in play. Furlong just puts it over. And Sarah gets to that one. Pellucci. That's going to be tough. Nice, Catherine. Sam, bump set. Mel, Yadav did a good job getting to that. Nice. That's off the backboard, still in play. That's out. Almost a double hit there, too. Yeah. Great yeah. hustle, both teams. Really good hustle. Rachel and Cassie checking in. Rachel back to serve. Some have blood. Yeah. I'll just sub her out, right? No? Do an injury sub? That's weird. Yeah. I've never seen him just stop play for one player if there's an injury when you've got the subs. And so, as we mentioned earlier, the Dig Pink game will be in two weeks. Two weeks. Again, when Westwood comes to town. Mm. And then the following week will be senior night when Norton is here. Yep. And that'll be the last home game. A little bit different kind of uh, watch of these senior nights go on. Yeah. It's really, really been interesting. I mean, you got to hand to these parents and these kids, you know. They're able to... Uh, Pretty much adapt to everything. And yeah. They they really they really remarkable. Lorette puts that down the line. Rachel. Mel blocked. Great play from oh. Friedman. Side out clockers. You know, we talked about these uh uh, the kids in, in, with all the time off of school and all the remote learning. and I just remember being a, sound like an old man, always bragging, well, I had two weeks off of school during the blizzard of 78. Well, guess what? I think they got us beat. Yeah. <laughs> Mel back to serve. Down the line. Sweet. That had some crazy spin. Yeah, that did. That thing was spinning sideways. I don't know if Mel did that intentionally or it was a miss hit, but it was it was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, it's, it's the first back row hit of the season I've seen that was actually set. 
Well, it's only been two games. Two games so. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just because it's March doesn't mean they've right. been playing. <laughs> Day. Good little run here from the Hillers. Putting a little distance. Coach Warren going to take a timeout. As the girls go to the sideline to hear what Coach Grabmeyer has got to say. It is weird being up here, too, in the Crow's Nest with just I know. two people. It's it's very weird. I mean, as a matter of fact, I just saw Marianne uh, last night. Uh, first time I've seen her in a year. Um, and she would normally be doing my job right now. Well, the camera job. And, uh, of course, Bob Hamilton, John Ritz, the Dings, who uh, yep, shuffled off to Spencer Mass. So we're, uh, we can't wait to get the team back together again. Let's put it that way. It's been a long, long time. And, yeah, it's it's just. It's tough. Two people. Normally, this is an eight-person crew. Yeah, for yeah, and, it's uh, full. And so, it, as it is now, I, I'm here, just doing the announcing. Mike is, adding color, running the camera, directing, producing graphics, and social director too. Social. Social Absolutely. media director. Yeah, I gotta check make sure we're still on air. <laughs> but we, uh, it, it's. Yeah, it's tough. We've we've now multitasked, and you know it's it. I, you know I'd rather watch the game and see who's who and, and see what e each other's doing. But it's so hard to do that and look through a little screen. And yeah. Ooh, just a nice little dump over Rachel, outside Millie cross court. Nice. That, nice play. Oh, good dump. Ashland was ready for it, though. Yep. It tipped out. That was Politica. Side out. And Politica goes back to serve. Hannah checking back in for the Hillers. Sam gets to that. Rachel outside. Oh, great, great wow. hustle from Yadav. Cassie had a great hit down the line. Kate checking in. Sam back to serve. Oh, nice serve from Sam. Good save from Cassie. Oh, it's uh -oh. wide. I'd like to remind the viewers that we'll be uh, down on the turf field tomorrow broadcasting uh, JV, uh, I'm sorry, freshman football. Friday's freshman. i got to remember that. Friday's freshman. JV is Monday. Friedman with the serve. Sam. Rachel. Millie, great swing. Wow. Great approach. Side out, Hopkinton. Catherine and Mirabella checking in. Leighton back to serve. Six point lead for the Hillers here in the second set. Hopkinton took the first set, 25 to 21. Good save from Millie. Mirabella, good cross-court hit. And nice oh, eyes. Good call yeah, from the yeah. girls. Yeah, that's a tough angle, too, when it goes cross-court like that. Yeah. Didn't make it. Good short set, though. Yep. Good time to call it. I don't think Hillers were ready, ready for that. Hopkinton opening up an eight-point lead. Oh, 
Tipped by Kate. Catherine outside. Millie down the line. Beautiful hit. Beautiful hit. Block from Kate. Oh. Double hit, maybe? Is that what it does? Or four? Nope. Outside. Tipped. Couldn't do much with it, though. Side out clockers. It's a good swing from Z. Yes. Sam receives that well. Catherine to Kate, put away. Sarah checks in, she'll go back to serve. Mel checking in. Looked like Sarah was just trying to dump that one over. Yep. Sat out, clockers. Z serving. I got the line. Nice ace for Z. Sam has trouble with that one. Oh, it shanks it over here to the cheap seats. Literally. <laughs> Just literally. I could not sit there. No way. But then I've been spoiled for how many years being up here? Yeah. <laughs> Side out. Killers. I tell you, it's, it's nice to watch a game from the floor. Like, uh, especially basketball. I love, I love watching on the floor. And uh, when we have too much crew, when we have... I, I got no job to do, so I just produce, which means do nothing. And uh, I get to watch a game down on the floor. It's fantastic. Let's see if Kate can close this out. Two points away. I'm taking the second set. Yadav gets to that. Back set to Simpson. And Michaela got oh. a piece of that. Set out, Clockers. Sarah, Catherine, Michaela. Back set to Simpson. Nice save. Nice save. Politica with a nice put away. Day. Z handles that one. Bump set. Simpson. Sam. Oh. oh everybody was standing around there. watching it. Can't fight. Yep. That was going to be a great save for uh, set point. <laughs> Side oh, it's out. The, it's, that happens. <laughs> oh, it's too bad. Okay, we're at set point. Rachel and Cassie checking in. Rachel will take the ball and hopefully bring the second set to a close. A 
Nice serve, handled well though by Z. Outside to Politica on the line. Oh no! Oh. That looked like it was on the line. I, well, that'll I, that'll make the second I, I, set. Twenty-five to seventeen for the Hillers. That was in. So, I think Coach Warren is. Oh, I thought he was going to have a word yeah, with the refs, I but so too. he's just getting a lineup rotation sheet. All these rules. There's the trainer doing the wipe down of the ball. Get the girls staying pretty much uh, apart. I think they have to. Um, and, uh, you know, the other thing, too, the, the unsung heroes, you got, we got to mention in here, too, is our staff of custodians and, and our facilities, yep. uh, maintenance people, that have to deal with all of this. I mean, granted, they get all this stuff here that is... Um, all piled up. This is all the way around this gym, and they have to move every night cha tables and chairs out for um, lunch and classes and, and everything. Yep. Testing, uh, the testing that's going to be going on. And then they got to get all this stuff back in the school right. after, uh, what was it, April 5? Yeah. Well, well, that's what, what's getting voted on tonight, I believe. So, but I believe uh, the state ordered. Middle school okay. and down yeah. Yeah. to uh, April fifth. So, yeah, all this stuff has to go back, and it's uh, it's not an easy task, especially these tables and chairs. That's a small elevator. It's a slow elevator. <laughs> um, these guys got their work uh, cut out for. So, big huge shout out to the men and women of the custodial and facilities uh, staff. Even just cleaning down the desks in between the games after the JV parents yeah. leave, well, and they've and got to go through and. and it's the athletic director who does that. You yeah, know, I he, saw. I he's saw here at all the games. He's doing all the work because, again, he would normally have two other staffers here, um, you know, helping out with the crowd and, and ticket sales and and everything like that. So, uh, student section, you know, you always have that. Uh, always have a couple teachers there for that. And, you know, he's just one guy, and he has to yep. – and he feels bad, too. He has to shuffle the people along so he can clean them before the next people, and the next people are waiting outside. Yep, in the rain. In the rain tonight, yeah. There was a, there were some banging on the door to get in while yeah. the cleaning was going on. I had a bang. Get in my fob didn't work, so I had to go all the way around the building and uh, – and, uh, no, good thing I have the AD's phone number, too, and I can call you him. Got clout. There. I got a little clout. So we got Kate, Millie, and Cassie up front with Michaela, Rachel, and Sarah, I believe. And Sam will come in for Michaela. Uh, it's Hannah in the back. Rotations are checked. Well, for the clockers, now it's our turn. It should be Ashlyn serve, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yep. Now we're just going to give him a ball. And LeBay will get us going. And third set is underway. Hannah, Rachel, outside to Millie, blocked. Great block at the net from Marcy. Hannah gets to that. Rachel, good play. Sam with an arm nice. bar. It's going to be out of play, though. 
Kate and Cassie had a nice wall set up, but that was hit with some Z hit with that with some power. Hannah, Rachel bump set, Millie, that was tipped. Cassie. Uh, good eyes for Sam. Side out. Catherine and Mirabella checking in. Cassie and Rachel head to the seats. Good get from Hannah. Outside, Millie. Nice swing. Millie goes down the line. That's going to be trouble. It is. And we got trouble right here at River City. Simpson entering. <laughs> nice floater from Catherine. Great block nice from block. Kate. Catherine outside, Millie. Nice play, Millie. Very nice. She approached it strong and then just tipped it over. Z. Oh, Sam. Nice. Great play. Great hustle there. Outside to Z, blocked, uh, but uh, blocked wide. Side out, Ashland. Z back to serve. And that's out. Nope, caught the line. Tied up at four here in the second set. Hillers took the first two sets in this best of five. Second game in the home and away series. And now that one's wide. Side out. I almost thought it was going to hit someone's <laughs> foot. <laughs> Girls' next home game is next Tuesday. Medfield comes into the field house. Always very competitive Love, Very competitive game. Love it when midfield comes in. Oh, great, great recovery from the clockers. Mel gets it over. Bumps it outside. And Marcy puts that one away. Remember when Emma first started playing? It was always they, the girls on the varsity at the time. It was like always you you wanted to beat one of the M teams. Yes. So it was always okay. They got to Millis first, and then it took them a year or so, and then they got Medway, and Medway. It took Medway. a couple more years, and they finally got to Medfield. Good eye, Sam. Side out. But it just. It, it, it was every time we played them too. You just got better and yeah. better and better. It was a it was a progression. Yeah, and, and they did. They had to do it in that order too. Millis, Medway, and Medfield. That's the way it went. And and, uh, and and the girls did it. And they got a couple uh, banners hanging up there to show for it. Yep. It's five straight TVL championships. Oh, great play from Michaela. Well done, Michaela. 
Yep. Nice ace. Oh. Ooh, another oh. ace for Kate. She puts wow. one deep, puts one short. Free ball. Back outside to Gilday. Oh, Good. nice. Mixing it up. So very happy parents down there. And Coach Warren calling a timeout. Yeah, Not liking what uh, he's seeing out there. Ten five lead here for the Hillers in the third set. Hopkinton up two sets to none. On a rainy Thursday here at Hopkinton High School. Steve Sweetapple along with Mike Terosian. Ashland used their first timeout. Get two timeouts per set. And Kate Powers get us back underway. Outside to Marcy. Oh, nice put away. Oh, I'm sorry, that was, yeah, it was Marcy. Klepper serving for the Clockers. Oh. Miss hit there from McCarran. Yeah. Receive error right there from Pellucci. Karen. Oh, Gilday oh. took off from outside. She's outside the line coming in on the approach. Just smacked the crap out of that ball. Catherine, nice. quick dump over. Well done. Got everyone off guard. Perfect. That was a dump over with speed. Side out, Hillers. Cassie and Rachel checking in. Rachel go back to serve. 11-9, Hillers. Good eyes from McCarran. Dump over, Rachel gets to it, bump set.
Gil Day with the and double hit. Four hits. Double. Uh, that violation. Oh, wow! After all that, I, uh, it was and it was. I think it was as she was go running away to head step back. I think her shoulder caught the net. So Hiller's next home game is next Tuesday. As the Medfield Warriors come into town. Now with another good serve. And it's out. Kate checks in. Oh, that's in. Side out, clockers. Hannah checks in. Cardoso serving. And service error. Side out, Hillers. Sam back to serve. Powers checking in. Sam powers that one. Go outside to Z. Tipped. Side out, clockers. LeBay serving. Rachel, set. Millie just gets it over. Ashton's got a free ball. Let's see if they can do anything with it. Sam, down on one knee, gets it outside to Millie. Oh, great body, oh, body control from yeah. Millie. Put it wide of the antenna, though. It's good bounce back performance from the Hillers tonight. That's long. Wide. All of the above. A little of both. Side out. Hillers. Catherine will check in as well as Mirabella. And Catherine serving. Billy, bump set. Mirabella just puts it down the line. Outside to Z, miss hit. And Hopkins in two points away from closing this match out. 23-13. Mirabella goes down the line. Great block from nice. Powers. And here we are, match point. So soon. Catherine with a knuckleball down the line. That's trouble. That's it. Great way to end it. Hopkinton takes the third set, 25-13 for a 3-0 sweep. Nice bounce back performance. I tell you, it was great. Yeah, it was a little uh, slow and scary start uh, with the first set. Uh, but uh, they came back. Second set looking strong. Kept it close. 
uh, then pulled away, and again, this third set just started and finished strong. Yeah. So the girls will play uh, their next match as a home game, as we said, next Tuesday yep. at 6 o'clock um, against uh, Medfield. Yeah, and you can tune in on YouTube sooner at uh, 3.30 for the uh, JV2 and the JV after that. I'm sorry, that's 3 o'clock. Yep, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. 3 o'clock, 4, 4, 30, and 6. That's right, yeah. right. So for Mike Tarosian, this is Steve Sweetapple, and we'll see you at the next game.